react. Season 2, Episode 7, Exodia Barons. Yeah. So in this video, I'm going to be you know, talking about Exodia and the different variants that we have of Exodia. So we'll use the anime to showcase that. So right now, let's showcase a little bit of, you know, the original Exodia and how it is like. I've assembled all five special cards, all five pieces of the puzzle. Exodia, obliterate! Okay, and now let's showcase Exodia Necros, another form of Exodia, and uh, showcase how it's like right now. Ready and... My move! And now I activate the magic card, Contract with Exodia! I've never seen that card before! What is that?! Before I could activate this magic card, I had to make sure that all five pieces of Exodia were sent to my card graveyard! Next, I'll give up 2,000 life points, allowing me to summon Exodia Necro! Ah, what on earth are you talking about?! Seto! It's over! So prepare for defeat! Meet the most feared creature in Duel Monsters! The mighty Exodia Necros! It's the last monster you'll ever see, my boy! I've waited years for this moment! Checkmate, Seto! <laughs> it looks just like- Okay, and so here we have another form of Exodia, another variant. We have Exodia's The Ultimate Forbidden Lord. Okay? So Exodia's The Ultimate Forbidden Lord is a level 10 with the following effect. Cannot be normal summon slash set. Must be special summon from your hand by shuffling all monsters in your graveyard into the deck. And cannot be special summoned by other ways. When this card declares an attack, send one monster from your hand or deck to the graveyard. This card gains 1000 attack for each normal monster in your graveyard. If this face up card would leave the field, vanish it instead. If there are five different forbidden one cards in your graveyard that were sent by this card's effect, you win the duel. As you can see right there, paying homage to the original um, Ex Exodia, you know, you send all five pieces of Exodia to the graveyard when it's attacked successfully, you win the duel. Alright, let's go to the next variant of Exodia. Okay, and here you have it, the next variant of Exodia, Exodia the Legendary Defender. So Exodia the Legendary Defender is another level 10 uh, uh, monster, so let's read that there. Cannot be special summon. You can tribute five monsters to tribute summon, but not set. This card. This card's attack and defense becomes the combined attack, original attack, and defense of the attributed monsters. If this card is summoned this way, destroys a dark fiend monster owned by your opponent, you win the duel. At the end of the damage step. Okay, so again we have another win condition. As we can see, it pays homage to the original. By having there, you tribute five monsters. There. So we see those uh, similar conditions there, and with the variation of five. Okay, so let's go over to our next variant of Exodia. Alrighty, we have the uh, next variant of Exodia, Exod, the Master of the Guard. If you can see that artwork there, it's very reminiscent of Exodia. You can see there, it just looks like Exodia. So let's uh, read its effect. So it's a level eight. Uh, let's count, let's see, is it level 8? Let's just check. 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, level 8 monster. With the following effect. This card cannot be normal summoned or set. This card cannot be special summoned, except by tributing one Sphinx monster. Each time an Earth monster is flip summoned, while this card remains face up on the field, inflict 1,000 damage to your opponent. It has 0 attack and 4,000 defense. So this is another variant of Exodia, and what singles it out from the first two for the other variants you see does not have a win condition. However, the artwork is very reminiscent of the original Exodia. Alrighty, let's go to the next variant of Exodia. Okay then, we have the next variant of Exodia, which is the legendary Exodia Incarnate. So let's read 
uh, it's a fact and obviously it's a level 10 and you know because being a level 10 i think we will see that it has a win condition so cannot be normal summon or set must first be special summoned from your hand by tributing one forbidden one monster and cannot be special summoned by other ways this card gains 1000 attack for each forbidden monster in your graveyard is unaffected by other cards effects once per turn during your end phase add one forbidden monster from your graveyard to your hand when this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard you can reveal any number of forbidden one monsters in your hand and if you do draw one card for each so as we can see with this card it has no attack points right but it is linked to the original exodia as it allows you to add the exodia pieces from your graveyard into your hand and as you know with the original Exodia's effect, if you have all five pieces of Exodia, you win the duel. So here we have another variant that's tightly linked to the original. Okay, let's pick. Alrighty, with that, we come to the end. But, fun fact, have you noticed that there are five variants of Exodia? Coincidence? I think not! Anyways, so we have the original Exodia, and now let's look at the five versions of Exodia we have. We have Exodia Necros that we mentioned before. We also have Exodius, the ultimate forbidden lord, that makes two. We have Exodia, the legendary defender, that's three. We have Exod, master of the guard, that's four. And we finally have the legendary Exodia incarnate, that makes five. And so we'll just go back there, so we'll scroll back. So those are all the versions of Exodia. And yeah, that's where I end this video. We come to the end of this video. So, as I like to say, you are one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. My fate, right, is in your hands. Um, hopefully I'll see, hopefully you know, you'll, you'll subscribe to this channel. And uh, wait a couple of minutes and you'll seconds, sorry, and you'll see some other videos that appear on my channel. Hope to see you soon and thank you.